What's going on guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today we're going to be reacting to living with a three-ton U.S. pickup truck in the U.K. I came across this video and I thought it would be hilarious to see someone actually driving such a large vehicle on UK roads. From what I understand, you guys generally have very narrow roads and small compact cars. So I'm guessing it's probably not a daily occurrence to see a three ton bright yellow, huge US pickup truck just driving down your street. And so I'm guessing we're gonna see a lot of head turns, a lot of pointing, and uh, this should just be really fun and really interesting. So let's just go ahead and dive in and check out living with a three ton US pickup truck in the UK. This is a 1000 horsepower Hennessy Mammoth, and I'm gonna use it to see what it's like to live with a huge high performance <laughs> American pickup truck in the UK. What could possibly go wrong? A sleepy, quiet English village probably isn't the ideal place to be driving this big gas guzzling 1000 horsepower American pickup truck. But let's see how we get on. Okay, so here's the first. Oh man. Lines up here. Um, this could be chaos. It's now definitely going to be chaos. Oh, you see, you should have waited. Impatience is not good. Okay, so. <laughs> This is not easy. Oh man, this with restrictors. The roads are so narrow. Okay, got through there. Uh, oh yeah. Now we're going down a very narrow bit here. Thankfully, I have priority. Ah, van man, you must wait. Ooh. I've never seen a white van reverse up to let you pass before. They don't normally do it. Okay, I need to go right here, which is not going to be easy. Dude, his truck. Oh, dude. Just, come on, can you get past? Come on. Right, here comes a three point turn. It's gonna have to be. Sorry, everybody. Thankfully, I've got a reversing camera. I will say, it looks like he has a short bed. So, uh, I guess in this case, at least he doesn't have a long bed because that would make it even more awkward. Oh dear. Right. Here's someone in a Range Rover, probably used to like people giving this? away, but they're gonna have to give away this time. Sorry. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Uh. Okay, this right here puts into perspective, like, you know, the the difference in the size of vehicles in the US versus UK. And and I understand why, because the roads are so narrow. I mean, and you know, and gas is so much more expensive. Um, but uh wow. <laughs> um Okay. Uh, Thank God for the sensors. Oh, hello. Um, might have to just go up the cover a little bit. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. Oh, this is so hard. People are staring at me like I'm mad driving around here. <laughs> They're right. Can I get around here without hitting one of the pug benches? Oh, he's risky. He's shaking his head at me like I'm mad. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy about me having this. How dare you? Ooh. Got to ease out. Sorry, sorry about that. Please forgive me. Wait, the the truck sorry. is actually from Texas. See, the Americans don't do this. It's very British to be going sorry, sorry, sorry the whole time. Done. Yes, that's true. Oh, survived without any scrapes. Now I think I'm going to go to the retail park. It's very American. Oh no, I'm running low on fuel. I need to go and fill up with petrol. Sorry, not petrol, gas. Why do they call it gas? It's not gas. It's a liquid. Anyway, <laughs> let's go fill up. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, this is going to be bloody awkward, this is. I have to do about a million manoeuvres. Man, this just puts it into perspective oh. so much. Come on. Like, guys, I've, I've heard that, you know, the, all the cars were so much smaller and whatnot, but this is putting in, in, into perspective because, like, this type of vehicle is like, a, you know, it's like I turn my head, I'll see another one, you know, in my area. And and literally everybody is so, un, you know, there's it's so unusual. They don't see those in the UK. And it's just such a different, such a contrast, you know. How much is he going to pay okay. to fill that thing up, though? Here we go. I hope he don't, shows that. I'm really curious how much that'll cost. Right. Hopefully this isn't going to be too expensive. Let's find out. Okay. 
Come on then, I've got a feeling this is gonna hurt. I'm sorry, this guy <laughs> behind, I've trapped in. He doesn't realize how long this could take. Wait, you're, he's trapped oh. in? The people wedged in between me and the van are very cross. However, the guy in the van could reverse up, but I think he's enjoying the drama too much. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. We're already well over 100 pounds. In fact, it's 120. And it's still going. How big is this tank? I'm paying 182.9 pence per litre. And the Americans moan about their gas prices. They should come live here. <laughs> oh, this is insane. Is this going to break the 200 pound barrier? I've never put more than 200 pounds in a car. Right, I think we're done. It has stopped at 101 litres. 185 pounds to fill that truck up. I don't know how empty he was. He might not, I don't even think he was all the way empty. So it possibly could have cost close to 200 pounds to fill that vehicle up. Okay, so how much is that? So that's, is that roughly $200? Wow, wow. I would say here it would probably cost, I don't know, 100 bucks to fill that, fill that truck up, maybe. I don't know. Lately, I mean, actually now it probably costs, uh, anyway, I don't know, but that's a lot of money to fill, fill a vehicle up, that's true. And over 180 pounds. Now, I've got to pay. <laughs> he just drained the tank, man. I'm not gonna enjoy this bit. <laughs> See you in a bit. I need to call my bank first. Some time later. Turns out that actually, this had a cut off, so, it's not full yet. Cut oh my off, goodness, dude. Liters. I've got to go again. Those people are so pissed off, man. I mean, but like, eh, I mean, it is what it is, right? I mean, but like, I don't understand why they're stuck. What happened? Is it just because he's got a longer vehicle? But I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, do people normally get stuck in between someone at a gas station? If, um, if someone is in front of them, they pull in and someone pulls them behind them. Is that a normal occurrence or is it just literally because the truck, the bed, it goes so far back, they literally can't pull out? Hmm. If you get him to reverse up, you can get out. Okay. Oh, they're getting really mad now behind. I can't blame them. I'm gonna be the most hated person at this Tesco forecourt. Okay, I wanted to see this. Like, oh, you can't go, you can't go around, can you? It looks like you're like stuck in because of this barrier here. Okay, uh, now I get it. Because um, because if he could if they could just go around, he could he could literally back up and pull out. But like he's literally got a barrier here. That's interesting. I guess this is because this is a main thoroughway here, and so they have to have some sort of barrier to block that. But um, yeah, I can imagine that uh, I'd be a little upset because I don't know how long he's been here, but obviously a while. Tesco. Tesco fuel, okay. Still going, yeah, look, here we go. That's it, it's full, I've got the clicks, finally. Go as quick as I can before the people behind me kill me. Okay, right, better go pay. <laughs> oh, goodness, oh, guys, he's gonna go back in again. They're getting annoyed behind. Okay, so, here we go. 184 pounds and another oh, dude. 27 pounds. You're about to... So that's over 200 quid. I better get going because they're going to kill me. I'm going now. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm really sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Oh, they hate me. They hate me and I can't blame them. Oh, my God. Dude, man. Like, the smart thing to do would have been to pull over here because then he wouldn't have been blocking anybody. I think there was other gas pumps over here. So the problem was pulling in this is that lane. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's go over here. Oh, man. That was very expensive. The most I've ever put in a vehicle. That is the American dream. I think they've had an American nightmare. All right, I've got my fuel, but my truck's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna give it a clean. There's no way I'll fit in one of those automated car washers. This is just too big, so I'm gonna have to jet wash it. Thankfully, there's enough room in this bay. Just. Annoyingly, I'm low on cash now after paying for all that fuel, so I can only do the minimum <laughs> bend on this. So I'm gonna have to be super quick trying to get this done. So minimum bend is two pounds. That's all I'm gonna do. Wait, I just realized something. You guys actually call paper currency cash as well? I, I just thought that was a US thing. I didn't even know that was, uh, you know, you guys would call your currency cash as well. That's interesting. Doesn't seem like this accepts Amex. Thankfully, when you got one of these, 
you need to make sure you've got a few bank accounts to pay for everything. So let's try this one. That is no doubt. Yeah. That worked. Here we go. Got to be quick. Oh, oh, I was wondering what those are. That's never, a camera on the, on the outside never there. That properly. <laughs> I was like, what is that? That's it. My cash. I'll finish off at home. Are you serious? Oh my, he okay, is going to um, just leave so it. That's done. It's not ideal. Um, not ideal. I can finish it off with this. There we go. Look. Absolutely fine. That is going to leave you know, so many water spots. So many. Oh man. Some food. Oh yeah. Let's go find something to eat. Ah, perfect. The golden arches. Is he going to go through drive-through? Drive through McDonald's. Yep. A very American meal in a very American vehicle. Now oh, wait a minute. This is a bit tight. Well, not if you're in a normal car. This is going to be a struggle to get through here, so I'm going to have to deploy my. Oh, my goodness! Hold on. Is that the normal tightness of a drive-through? It's not just his his truck. I would think if you were in a you know a, like a medium-sized work van or something, you know something you see like a plumber drive or something. It wouldn't fit very well in that. That is tight, man. Wow. This is going to be a struggle to get through here, so I'm going to have to deploy my optional helper. It's really handy to get you through tight spots. It's only available, this upgrade, in the UK for obvious reasons. You don't need it in the States. There he goes. He's been deployed. Hopefully, he's got the Olo wheel protection system built in. Here we go. Almost there. Oh, gosh. This is American, so it's left-hand drive. The drive through is oh, set up. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Um, okay, I just had a question now. I've heard that, uh, you know, you know, obviously, for the most part, mo most cars have left-hand driving, right? Or, wait, no, you're driving on the right. Um, but sometimes people from out of, out of the country bring in their own cars with the steering wheel on the left. So can they just not basically go through a drive through by themselves? I, I, I just, because obviously he's going to have trouble with this. So that's interesting. I didn't think about that. But it's true in the in the US, if you brought the opposite in, it would obviously be, you really wouldn't have a easy time going through a drive through either. So Hello. makes sense. Hi, is everything all right? Everything's fine. As long as I can get a breakfast bacon roll, please. Do you like ketchup or brown sauce with that? Um, brown like sauce. Brown sauce. Good choice. Yeah. Else? No, that's it, thanks. Bab, when you're able, you just want to continue round for me. Okay, see you shortly. Take care. Uh, I need to take care because this is uh, so big. I, I, I love the conversation there. That was that was uh, so unusual. <sighs> She's like, oh, okay. oh, good choice. Because it's very, very British. You don't get that in America. Thankfully, this drive through is reasonably wide. What, brown sauce? Yeah, I've never, no, nah, yeah. don't know what that is. Doesn't matter if you go up the curb in this, because it's got 37 inch tires. This is the bit I'm slightly worried about. Oh man, yeah. Come on, get round. Uh, he's he's got it, no you got it. Of this vehicle are. Oh, I've just driven past the blooming window. <laughs> the employees are gonna be like, what in the world? Here we go again. Hello. I've come to get my breakfast roll with brown <laughs> sauce. That's it. Can I pay? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You have to do that yourself. We give them our card through the window and then they go and get it themselves and then, and then they give it back to us. That's unusual. I mean, is that is that a normal thing? Like, if you go anywhere, do you generally have you scan the card yourself? Wow. Next window, another window. Hey, yeah, of course. Hey, now you can okay. pull closer though. So. Right, here we go again. <laughs> oh God. Right. Don't want that beeping at me. Safety first, everybody. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, I've done it again! I'm too busy watching my spotter. Are you literally not doing that on purpose? This, the this crazy, man. Oh, there's someone behind me. Hello. 
Oh, sorry about this. Just bear with me. Oh, oh dude. Oh. Oh. The window is so low to the ground. I mean, it makes sense with your average car being, you know, small compact. Right, thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. In the US, our windows wouldn't be here, but I feel like this is very low. I feel like the window would probably be maybe here or something. I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe not, but uh, just that's what it looks like anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, you got it. Tell you what, this is going to be guilt free breakfast because I reckon I've burnt off all the calories that's in this. <laughs> Trying to reach Just over. Blooming yeah. getting it. Yeah. Let's park up and find somewhere to enjoy my food. Oh, here we go. And now all I need to do is get my spotter back on board. Come on. Before I go eat, I need to just pick up an essential item which I forgot to buy. So, just find myself a parking space. Here we go. This will do it. Well, I guess that <laughs> that's convenient. A I guess. Few moments later. That should be fine in there. No oh idea. I, I read a notice that says you get a fine if you don't park properly in the bays, but mm. I'm not too worried because where they're going to send the fine to? Texas. <laughs> That's true. Let's head back. I've had enough of this. It's too stressful. Oh, this is sketchy around here. Blind corners. Wide vehicle. I hope no one's going quick the other way. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Passing lorries on country roads when you're on the wrong side of the car is not fun. Oops. Due to the weight of this truck, I can only do 60 miles an hour on a piece of dual carriageway in the UK. On the motor, I can do 70, but dual carriageway, 60. Whereas a car would be able to do 70. One of the other drawbacks. Mm. I hope my plan's all right. In oh the dear, that's a little bit of a mess. And so too is trying to drive around a big American pickup truck in Britain. You know, our roads are just too narrow for them. I love them out in the US when you've got these wide, wide roads, mm. but here, not so much. Dude, this was an awesome video. Uh, it was, it was both informative and hilarious at the same time. You know, it. I, I guess I finally understand why the vehicles, why you guys talk about your your cars are so much smaller in the UK versus in the US. It just makes sense. The roads are really not designed and the infrastructure in general, like the McDonald's, for example, is just not designed for a large vehicle. Um, and obviously, like we said in the beginning of this video, the, uh, you know, the, the gas prices or the fuel prices um, are much more expensive in the UK. Um, you know, this vehicle, this truck, man, I don't know how much this truck is, but the cost of pickup trucks like this are insane. I don't know how much your average uh, vehicle would cost in the UK, but in the US, this truck probably, I'm gonna guess this thing's probably probably running you close to $100,000. I mean, if you just go get like a regular, like, I don't know, like a Ford F250, you know, you're probably paying $75,000 for a new F Ford 250. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people drive these vehicles. Obviously, not all our trucks are this large, but um, trucks in general, we definitely have a truck culture here in the U.S., especially in lots of areas in rural areas or in the South, especially. Um, and and I think a lot of that's because, you know, the roads are wider, so they're they're much easier to drive on the roads. And, you know, I think I think the hauling culture, if you will, may be a lot larger here. Like people are always hauling things here for whatever reason. Um, instead of, you know, getting furniture or something delivered to you, you know, you pick it up yourself and you take it home. Um, and I think that's one reason. And, um, you know, a, a truck like this, while a little bit big, it does give you room for a family. You know, you got plenty of room to you know, have three kids, a husband and wife, three kids in the back, a husband and wife up front, and you can still have the pickup features of, you know, being able to haul things. Um, not to mention if you're in uh, snowy areas and icy areas, you know, four wheel drive and, but, uh, 
This definitely would not work in the UK very easily, at least in the area he's in. I'm guessing from what I understand from other comments and other videos that these are the types of roads you'll find throughout the majority of the UK. Please let me know if that's not the case. Um, let me know in the comments, do you see any large vehicles like this on a regular basis on your roads, wherever you're at in the UK or Ireland? Um, because I'm under the impression that this would be a very rare occurrence to see a truck this big. Obviously, like I said at the beginning of this video, you know, there's going to be large work vehicles, but personal vehicles, I don't think you'd see many this large. It would just be too costly, too inconvenient, and, uh, you know, just would be a nightmare in a lot of cases to drive on at least what it looks like here. And I'm just under the impression that the roads we saw here in this video and the way the gas pumps were set up and the way the drive throughs were set up, I think this is probably pretty normal uh, throughout a lot of the UK. So I'm thinking this would be just incredibly inconvenient to have a truck like this in the UK. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, guys, peace.